Hello YouTube, Canadian Edge here, and we've got another knife to review today. This one, it is from QSP, and some of you might recognize it. Should have given it a quick clean job before we started. This is the QSP Mamba. And the Mamba bo boasts a blade length of 3.75 inches. Open, it is 8 inches and closed it is 4.45 inches. The steel on this, it is a D2 steel with a drop point blade, or sorry, clip point blade. Uh, the weight on this, it is 3.3 ounces. And we've got micarta, the, this one's the black micarta handle and stainless steel liners that are skeletonized to reduce weight a bit on this. The pocket clip, it is reversible, deep carry, uh, tip up configuration, and the locking system, it is a liner lock. And there's fairly easy access to the liner lock, which is nice. Uh, it's always good to be able to get it that easy. It is flipper tab opening as you can see and it does have jimping on the back of the blade which is a plus for me I appreciate the jimping uh, no choil on this just a, basically a sharpening choil uh, they do have the lanyard hole at the back for those of you who like to throw a lanyard on your knife and it does come with ceramic ball bearings, so quite a smooth pivot on it. Not quite drop close, but it uh, it doesn't take a lot of effort to close the knife either. So, so this is the QSP Mamba, and I forgot to mention it is relatively centered down the middle. And there is no blade play. Now this does have the satin finish and I'm not a huge fan of the satin finish. I like the look of it, but I have oily hands. And so I leave fingerprints on these things all the time. And so like the stone wash and that doesn't show the fingerprints as much as as the satin finish, but the satin finish looks nice. That's my only beef about that. But I get sidetracked. So anyway, let's see what the, what kind of edge they put on this thing. So the D2 will hold an edge for quite a while. And as you can see, nice and sharp, no problem cutting, cutting the paper. And Let's see what do we got here. We'll grab the old zip tie. See how it works on that. That's where your jimping comes in nice. You get the good purchase with your thumb for pushing and and it did cut that quite easily. I just don't have great control when I do things like that. And cuts through the nylon cord without any real effort. And how about the old fake paracord? It cut through that quite easily, actually. It, um, it kind of melted through that. So size comparison. This is a bigger knife at 8 inches. You've got the Benchmade bug out. You can see it is slightly shorter. Same with the Ontario Rat 2, um, almost two finger lengths, pretty close. And grab a couple of the bigger knives. We've got the Civivi Cogent, which is slightly shorter, and also the Sencut Saxi which again is slightly shorter. So, so it does have a little bit of length onto it. It is a nice slim design to it. So 
it's going to fit your pocket in that quite well. And just about to slice the end of my finger off there. You want to keep your fingers out of the way. A little PSA there. <laughs> keep your fingers away from the sharp edge of the blade. In case you weren't aware of that. And centered. No blade play. We already discussed that. <clears throat> and so, yeah, it's a little bigger knife. But it is a slim knife. So it... Uh, has the the little easier carry in the pocket. I like the aesthetics of this knife. Uh, the blade has a good blade profile. You got the swedges here, but a little bit of a crown there, and and the handle is very generic, but um, but it looks good. It's it's just a a nice knife that you could uh, throw in your pocket for a night out or or use as an everyday carriage. Carry, not carriage. Everyday carry. And the ergonomics on it are quite good. You've got, a, I've got a medium sized hand. So you can see you guys with bigger hands, you're gonna have a little bit of handle back there. So so you should be able to get a four, full four finger grip on there. Now mind you, you are on the butt of the knife, but. But whatever, you got four fingers on there, so that's good. Uh, so it is, you know, it's a good size, uh, fits the hand well. The micarta gives you a good grip, and uh, so it shouldn't slip at all in use. And also, with the jimping, you get a good purchase with your thumb. So nice, solid grip on that. I already mentioned that it fits the pocket really well because it's nice and slim. It uh, doesn't take up a lot of room, and it sits deep in the pocket. So all you got showing is the pocket clip. Um, yeah, it's good. And the pivot on it is very smooth. The ball bearings uh, make it smooth out of the box. It opened no problems. I threw a little bit of pivot lubrication on there, um, just because I do with all my knives. And it it works really well. So no complaints about the pivot. It's it's good. Uh, enjoy it. But my typical complaint about a lot of knives, they did not make the pocket screws flush. So it uh, they do stick up a little bit. So that's going to be a little wear and tear on the pocket. But other than the pocket clip screws, I don't have any real complaint about it. Uh, it functions great, works great. Um, I didn't carry it as much as some of the other knives. Uh, but when I did, it, it worked great as an everyday carry. Um, I don't know why I didn't. I guess because I have a few other knives that I was carrying and just uh, use them more than I did this one. But I would recommend this as an everyday carry knife. It will easily do the job. And uh, anybody that gets a hold of it would would like it a lot, I'm sure. Uh, works well for the different jobs. And, and I've found QSP, so far in my experience, their knives have uh, held up well and and done done a good job. So. So yes, I would recommend this as an everyday carry knife, and uh, especially if you like the bigger, bigger knives. It, it is a little bit bigger, even though it doesn't feel like it because of the slim design. So it could be a gentleman's knife, could be, you know, everyday carry knife, depends on what you want to use it for. But uh, check them out, QSP Mamba. Check out all the QSP lineup. They have some interesting knives and, and some good ones. But yes, uh, the QSP Mamba. I would recommend as an everyday carry knife. All right, leave me a, a comment, hit the like, hit subscribe. I'll be doing another review uh, shortly and uh, or an unboxing, one of the two. I uh, appreciate everybody that takes time to watch the videos. And I will tell you, stay safe and stay sharp.